Welcome to our live training session here with our LS Swap Nova. We're going to be learning how to calibrate and tune this vehicle using a Holley Terminator X system. Let's jump into some details about this vehicle. Now the LS engine that's been swapped into our Nova here is a 6 liter. It has aftermarket heads. It also has a Texas Speed MS3 camshaft. It has 600 lift, 238, 242 duration with a 112 LSA. And it has everything upgraded internally to support that camshaft. In addition to this, we have a Trailblazer intake manifold and a 90 millimeter throttle body with a three and a half inch cold air intake. We also have long tube headers to a custom exhaust uh, with no cats installed on this. Now on the fuel system side of things, it has an upgraded fuel pump. We have uh, the feed line. It's just a, going to be a returnless style system with a Corvette fuel pressure regulator that's mounted in the tank. We have LS truck style injectors that have been decapped. They flow approximately 70 pound per hour. Now we're going to be tuning this on 93 octane and we're going to be using again our Holley Terminator X system. We're going to go through the entire calibration process from creating our base map, doing our idle control tuning, making sure we have our part throttle cruise tuning dialed in. We're going to learn all the tips and tr tricks to be able to get that sorted out. We're also going to be taking a look at doing our full throttle tuning, our cold start tuning, as well as doing any kind of acceleration enrichment tuning. We have a lot to cover. Let's jump into our very first tutorial here and learning how to create our base map so we can get the engine to fire up and run on our Holley Terminator X. Welcome to our live training session here with our LS Swap Nova. Now we just went over all the details of the vehicle. Let's jump into our Terminator X software so we can create a base global file that we can upload to the Terminator X so the engine can fire off and run and we can start our training process with. Now, first thing I want to do here is jump into the Terminator X software that's open on my laptop screen right now. We need to go and select a base global file that'll be a reasonable starting point to go in and modify that we can save uh, and then we can upload it to the Terminator X. And we need to modify it based on all the modifications that have been done to this vehicle. So the cam profile, the size injectors that we're dealing with, the engine displacement, firing order, et cetera, et cetera. Let's go in and do that right now. We're gonna jump in here to our open global file option that allows us to go into the directory to go select a file that we can start off with. Now, if you have a application that's not covered, um, that's not more of a plug and play application with a Terminator X, so you might have something that's not a Ford or a Dodge um, or a GM, you might have to go in and actually create something from scratch. We can go create new global file that allows us to start from scratch. If you have a custom camera crank pattern or firing order or something that's, again, not a plug and play application with the Terminator X, you are able to create that. But this is gonna save us some time because they have quite a few LS-based files that we can choose from. So we're gonna be selecting one of those. Let's go in here to open global file. That's the option that we wanna choose in this case. So um, we're gonna go in here to our base cal folder and then it's gonna warn us that the base files are base maps. They shouldn't be used as a tune map. You, know, you might damage your engine, et cetera, et cetera. That's fine. Let's click OK here. We're gonna go into our GM specific folder. And then we're gonna go here into our LS base specific folder. This is an LS engine, so we're gonna go ahead and use a file that's associated with this engine. So let's go here, LS base. Now in here, we find a whole bunch of different options to choose from. Now this is naturally aspirated. So the first thing we need to do is filter through the files that are available here. We're gonna see that they're labeled either turbo, supercharged, or they don't have anything in front of the designation saying it's super or turbocharged, meaning that it's naturally aspirated, which is what we want. The next thing we need to pay attention to uh, for the base map uh, selection here is going to be what specific crank pattern we're dealing with. Do we have a 24 tooth crank, which is gonna be a GM Gen 3, or a 58 tooth crank trigger pickup, which is going to be a Gen 4 engine? Now, you can mix and match Gen 3 and Gen 4 parts, so you might have a Gen 3 block with Gen 4 heads, or a Gen 4 block with um, Gen 3 heads, or you might go from a Gen 4 motor that has drive-by wire and convert it to cable. You could go all kinds of different ways here with the Terminator X and mix and match. On the stock ECU, it's not that easy. You have to run a converter if you're, let's say, running a GM Gen 3 engine that's a 24 tooth trigger pickup on the crankshaft and you want to run um, an engine, let's just say that's a 58 tooth, you're swapping in a Gen 4 motor and you want to run it on a Gen 3 ECU, you have to run a converter so it converts that pattern so the ECU will actually recognize it. With Holly, it'll recognize either, but we need to make sure that the base file we're choosing is going to be representative of the pattern that we're dealing with that's specific to the engine in the crankshaft. Now this particular engine, this is a 6 liter, um, this is going to be a Gen 3 motor, so we need to go in here and choose something that's a 24 tooth pattern, so 24X. And we can see we have a bunch of different options here. 
when we're looking at 24X that doesn't have turbo or supercharged in the file name. This is gonna be 24X drive-by-wire 4L80 multi-port fuel injection LS base. Now, this file would work, however, this is going to be automatic. Uh, this, this particular car has an automatic transmission. This is a manual valve body, older style transmission. Um, so it's not going to be a 4L80. We're not having control of the automatic transmission through the Terminator X. So that would not necessarily uh, be a good file to choose. We're also not drive by wire. We are cable driven throttle body. So in this case, we need to go and find something here that's going to be 24 tooth that's not going to have transmission control or drive by wire in the file name, which looks like this file here 24X multi-port fuel injection LS. That's exactly what we have here. So it's cable driven throttle body, manual valve body on the transmission. It is automatic transmission, but again, it's not controlled. And uh, we have nothing here with engine displacement. And actually what we're seeing here, it does have six liter as the displacement in the name here in the notes, but it's not designated here in the actual file name. So this is what I'm gonna choose for this application. Again, we could choose any of these files. We would just have to go in and turn things off, such as drive-by wire or transmission control, if that was enabled in the file you're working with, if you don't have that particular feature or function. And likewise, if you're choosing a file that doesn't have something that's turned on, let's just say you're going in here and choosing this file to start off with, and then you add a supercharger or a turbocharger, uh, you're able to go in and change things uh, later on and build off the file. So you're not pigeonholed into one particular file. Same thing with the actual trigger pattern. You can change that in the file, but again, it's just better to choose something right off the bat here that's more specific and appropriate for what you're working with to cut down the setup time. Okay, so we're gonna grab this file here and click open. Now it's gonna open up the file. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.